Well, good evening. Wonky Astronomer here. Well, I'm at the University of Western Sydney and we're just setting up for the eclipse. It's about 4 o'clock. Another 15 minutes to go. The eclipse will begin. I don't usually wear a sun hat when I'm out observing, but uh, today I am. Now, the sky conditions are not great. Hang on. You see that? It's a bit of cloud. But um, there's enough sun for me to cast a shadow. So that's a good start. Some people up there gathering, some members of the public are arriving, I think. Got uh, a few telescopes set up up there. Uh, some of us are setting up down here, down on the grassy area, because we've got these trees here and we just want to uh, avoid being blocked by the trees. Let's have a look at some of the equipment. That's my little telescope there. Also got some binoculars with filters on them. Yes, it looks, uh, looks good with the two eyes, doesn't it? Homemade filter setup. When I say homemade, I mean the filters themselves are professional filters, but it's uh, in a cardboard mount. Do you put your uh, camera and... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been doing the last few days, so... Yeah, interesting. Well, mate, I've got nothing. I should get a sign like that. That's the image I have at the moment. About ten minutes until the eclipse starts. We have cloud drifting across. I think we'll see something. There we have it. There it is. We're 10 minutes into the eclipse now and you know, the, the clouds coming and going. But we're getting uh, occasional good views. Oh, we're getting a good view now. You can see what the sky looks like. It's a lot of cloud there. He's the expert, he's the expert. I'll tell you what mate, you must be drinking a lot of beer lately. <laughs> well there's the sun, partially eclipsed, but it's a bit cloudy. And it uh, looks like we probably won't see much more of it. They're now going to have a presentation explaining what we would have seen off of the clouds. The actual eclipse is still in progress. Um, but we've decided we're not going to see any more. There's only 10 minutes until the sun sets, so there's not much hope. These astronomers are just milling about, lamenting. They're just lamenting. There's Miroslav. Oh, not me. Yeah. He's the man. Ugly. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all dressed up today. Oh yes. Not because well, of you. <laughs> what do you think of my live feed of the eclipse? That's it. That's it's a very good live feed. Yes. <laughs> They're laughing at my live feed. They don't believe it. You just, you know, uh, slowly, you know, follow, you know, your sun, mm -hmm. and then you, you know, with a pencil, you know, put the sunspots in there, and then you stop, and then you follow one sunspot or two, and then you have a line, and then you find the orientation. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like now, <laughs> and it's just picking through. I don't think we'll see anything now. It's what it would look like if we could see it, it would look like that. 
Well, there you have it. A solar eclipse. Australians have been treated to a partial solar eclipse, but heavy cloud cover disappointed those in southern states. For the second time this month, the sun, earth and moon lined up, creating a spectacular heavenly show. Parts of the nation's north had the clearest view, but saw the smallest slice of the action. In a cruel twist, the southern states would have had the best view if the weather conditions had been better. The partial eclipse lasted about an hour.